All right, Edmundo, this is the edge that you inquired about. And because it didn't have good pictures online, I thought I would send you an up-close video. So it's a really, really beautiful color. Really great sized SUV. Nice rims on it. Really nice back end. It's a titanium. So this is what the key looks like. So you got remote start. And you also have a power lift gate. So you just hit the button twice. Your trunk opens right up for you. Which is super easy when you have your hands full of stuff. Tons of cargo space back here. Under here, you have your donut and some more storage compartments. Then, one of my favorite features on the edge. So right now you have these rear seats and they're folded up so people can sit in the back seat. Well, one of my favorite features about the Edge is if you hit these buttons right here, one and two, the seats just automatically fold down. So I'm going to do one of them so you can see. I'll leave the other one up though. So I'm just going to hit the button and the seat folds down. So you can easily, you know, ha slide something large in there without having to put it down on the ground, which is really nice. Then you can also hit the button on your key fob to close it again or up here. There's a button you can push, and it'll close for you, just like that. Back here, you also have your backup sensors, so it'll beep at you when you're backing up. And then you also have your reverse camera right there. Now, this vehicle has our 2-liter EcoBoost engine with our 8-speed transmission. It's a really, really great... Um, combination and pairing for the power the power is always right where you need it to be I love the handling of the edge so I'm sure like when you come in on Saturday you'll see what I'm talking about this model has the cream seats really gives it you know a high-end luxury kind of feel to it which is nice I'm gonna jump inside here all right so starting on the driver's side here you'll notice you have a B&O sound system, so um, really great sound system, really good sound, bass, clarity, no like rattle in the speakers, which is really nice. You also have um, memory seats, so three different settings that you can set it on. So if there's other people driving the vehicle, they can set it to one, two, or three for themselves, and then people don't have to mess around with the seats too much when they're getting in and out and switching drivers, so that's nice. Then on the door, you have your mirror and your window controls. Right here, you have your light controls, traction control, um, interior trunk release. There's your display. Really, really clean split display. So you have a screen on that side and a screen on that side, which is nice. Over here, you have your paddle shifters as well as your adaptive cruise control buttons and your high beam buttons. Also has auto high beams and auto headlights. Then here you have your uh, standard cruise control um, co controls. And then over here you have your Bluetooth controls and voice activated navigation controls. And then both of these up here for controlling each respective screen on the display there. Right here you have your push button start in the center stack. We have a little storage compartment up there. You got your screen. Kind of give you a quick layout. So you for on the Fords, really nice because you can access everything no matter where you are. So like right here we have your navigation, then over here it shows you your radio, and then if you had a device plugged in, it would show you that, and then it also shows that it has the heated steering wheel and it's on. So that's another feature I forgot to mention. So it has a heated steering wheel as well as heated seats. Um, and you can actually customize this to display whatever you want on here, whatever is most important. You also have your direction, and then um, you also have, it says what your temperature is pulling, the exterior temperature, time, all that good stuff. So you have your music controls, 
climate controls, phone, your voice activated navigation, apps, setting. And one nice thing is no matter what screen you're in, you can be in your phone, you can be in climate, super easy to get back to home, just hit the home button up there. Down here you have your CD player as well as your uh, four ways. You have your actual button controls for the climate. So you can use the touch buttons or the actual hard buttons. You also have your radio tuning, heated seat buttons, and more temperature control availability. Then coming down here, you have a compartment that opens up and you have two smart charge USBs. So that means they charge a little bit faster than the traditional USB you'd find in a vehicle, which is definitely nice. This year we've switched to the rot rotary dial to make, give more room in uh, the center stack here. So you have your park, reverse, neutral, drive, and your sport mode all on a twisty dial. Then you have your parking brake as well as your auto start stop. So this vehicle turns off when you come to a complete stop at a stoplight. And as soon as you release your foot from the brake, it starts back up again. Now if you don't like that, you just have to hit this button every time you start the car and then you don't have to deal with it. Then you have your uh, cup holders. I really like the display they did, or the design they did with these cup holders this year. And you also have a little cubby there for like change, as well as right here, which is nice. Then you have your center console, and it's two parts. So first part gives you a little felt-lined uh, drawer, which is nice because nothing rolls around and makes noise in there. It's actually like felt-lined and not plastic, which is nice. And then you can pull that up. And you have a really deep console. I can almost fit like probably half my arm in there. Um, and you have another 110 volt plug-in right there. Sorry, 12 volt plug-in right there. As well as a 12 volt right there. There's also a cubby. So behind your center stack, there's a cubby. You could put a wallet in there and keep it kind of hidden, a uh, purse, you know, something small that you wouldn't want in there, anyone to see. Then you have your lockable glove box. Up here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror and your uh, light controls up there. And then the view of the back. Hop out here just to make sure that uh, didn't miss anything here. Oh yes, there's also um, a wireless charging pad inside as well as your SYNC 3 with SYNC Connect so you can actually control and remote start your car from your phone once you download the Ford Pass app. Then we also have a pre-collision assist. So uh, if someone is, if you're gonna get in an accident, it'll pre-charge the brakes and help you stop so you don't get in another accident like you did with the CRV. And then they also have lane keeping system. So if you are uh, traveling outside of your lane, the vehicle will notify you and try and keep you in your lane so you're not uh, side swiping anybody or anything like that. You also have uh, Bliss, blind spot uh, traffic sensors so it'll let you know if someone's in your blind spot so you don't change lanes and hit anybody also comes with our three-year uh, 60,000 kilometer warranty and our five-year 100,000 kilometer warranty as well as roadside assistance for 24 hours a day all the time and then it also has the uh, cold weather package which gives you um, the rubber mats and the heated mirrors and heated steering wheel which I mentioned earlier so Really, really, really nice vehicle. Tons of options on here. Great price point. And you know what, it's, it's really like one of the most sturdiest SUVs around. So I think you made a really good option and choice here. And I'm really excited to actually show it to you, take you for a drive and see what you think. Now, if you have any questions after watching this video, don't hesitate to give me a shout, ask them, I'm here to help you and uh, let me know what you think about it and otherwise i will be in touch on friday just to make sure we're still on our for our appointment on saturday i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll be in touch Bye bye